appreciate your time. I, I appreciate that you spent so much time with us. And I also, uh, if, if I haven't said it enough, uh, deep admiration for what a shining light you are in how thorough you are and how long you have been a very strong voice on behalf of a sport that is both advocacy and eloquent. So well, thank you for spending this time with us. You're way too kind. And I feel the same way about you. You know, you've been a You've been the the standard for me as to how to how to handle a career, and uh, I've been a big fan of yours for. Oh, a long, thank long you! Time. I did not know that. Of That's, course, uh, you knew that. I keep how coming I, on your show. I, I, well, you do keep coming on your show. I didn't realize on the show. I didn't realize that was the highest compliment. That uh, the highest compliment you give is return visits. No, I it's not. not I don't want to make it sound like that. But but I I in. I enjoy the authenticity of your show, and always had from the time you're on ESPN. It's not only entertaining. It's informative, and you can tell. Like when I when I go on your show, when I go on other shows, I know what's coming. You know, you're going to be asked about this, asked about that. Same as anything else. For for me, it was like you and Tony Kornheiser were the shows that I would go on, and I didn't know what was going to happen. And it was like I enjoyed going on because it was going to be fun for me, and I was gonna I was going to get to experience you. And uh, and same thing with Tony. Uh, maybe it's your you know the fact that you guys are real journalists like now people who get on tv get to call themselves journalists you guys are journalists you know like you 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 hoofed it back in the day where you had to you had to go in anonymity and write something and whenever i see on 30 for 30 like on the university of miami you know you hear all this stuff and then you get your perspective and you go that's that's what happened like that's that nailed it and uh i always remember you saying about the ncaa but like they're mall cops and I was like, God, I wish I had said that. That's <laughs> He's right. That was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's nice. That is high praise. Uh, we would just ask you about uh, being an I come in peace. We would ask you to make fun of Patino being a, uh, a vampire. We would ask you about the white shadow. And the reason that I would know it is because, uh, can you find me the famous argument that began our relationship that with Jay Billis, where he, he intimidated me the night of, I don't know whether you're going to be able to find this this There's quickly. A uh, yes, because and I still think I still think it was a valid argument that I was bringing you because Stan Van Gundy broke it down later and sort of explained to me, well, the American big man is always thrown immediately into the post and isn't allowed to play on the three point circle. I, I think we were who what were we arguing about? We the difference about... between the perception of of Michael Beasley versus Tyler Hansbrough. Yeah, we're talking about Tyler Hansbrough. And so my recollection of this was it was you know, having race enter into that sort of realm, it, it needed to be treated appropriately. And I think we did. But after I'd answered the question a number of times, <laughs> and then it became... It, well, and it was on the eve of the championship. Yeah, as it was well. coming up. It was, it was, so, it, you, you were like doing it that night. I think you were calling the game that night. And I was probably really tired. But <laughs> we had gotten to the end of it. And I think I think I had been saying, All right, you brought up Manu Ginobili and then talking about European players. I go, Manu Ginobili from Argentina. That's not in Europe. You know, <laughs> stuff like that. So we had gone we had gone with stuff like that. But it went, went about... It went in my view, a little bit too far to where I was like, look, I'm going to get in trouble here. Like, this is just not, I've answered this two yes, or three times. I right. can't answer it again. And I, I said, and I got a ton of feedback from my friends on that. You, I had said, I had said, uh, no offense, Dan, but this is stupid. And you said, well, you can't just say no offense. This is stupid. Such and I said, all line. right, then, then take, take offense. offense. This is stupid. Line. And, uh, and that, that, that's what carried the day, but I never felt mad about it. I was just, I need to extricate myself from this because this is not in a direction I want. Kugler, you've got it. Let's relive it right here. I believe this was one of the first times that Billis was ever on with us. You would understand why it is that I might not think that you always <laughs> respected everything I, I did. did journalistically. This resume, 22 and 10, best player in the sport. 22 and 10, what are you talking about? Tyler Hansbrough. Oh, his, uh, his, you mean his, his stat, 22 points, 10 rebounds a game. Yes. Uh, I thought you were talking about some sort of record. I was like, they weren't 22 and 10. Um, he, well, he's player of the year, but there have been other players. Well, Chris Carroll was player of the year in the in the uh, in, in All-American and all that when he came out and uh, wasn't drafted in the first round. I don't even think he was drafted. So, so I, I think you're wrong there, uh, and I think I, I, I'm not a sociologist, but I, I tend to think I've never discussed race before 
with regard to a prospect, and I, I don't even know where to begin uh, to to sort of All right, let's, uh, express let's, let's, how I, you know, sort of the displeasure I would have in having that kind of discussion. Well, let's do it another way then. Let's have let's be displeasurable in another way. If Michael Glee Beasley were why? No, Dan. There are so many ways that you're displeasurable. If that's even a word, I, I don't know. There are so many directions we could go. Let, let's start. If Michael Beasley were white, you don't think that a GM would have trepidation? Same guy, same exact guy in every way. Then he would say to himself, "Well, God, it it's like been twenty submarine. years since a player, like, a great white think, American player, has been great in the NBA." What? So, so, so you think it's more? You think it's more uh, their nationality or their race? What, it, what do you say? Not, now you're saying that that the uh, the NBA people don't have any trepidation with regard to white Europeans. Well, there are more examples of white. Europeans like Dirk and Manu uh, starring like Peja Stoyakovic. There are, there are more examples of them being stars. Who's the best white American player in the NBA? Is it Dunley? Hey, Dan, Dan, no offense, but this is stupid. And and I'm not going to engage in this. I mean, I, you know, I'll, I'll do respect. I mean, if you guys want to talk about this, I, I'm, I'm here to talk about whatever you want outside of this. No, we, no we don't have to talk about anything, but it's not stupid. And you can't start yes, a sentence. It is. You, can't, stupid. you can't start a sentence. You can't, you can't sit there and talk race with regard and then, and then bring nationality into it and act like, you know, the whole race thing uh, is the issue. And then you say, well, well, now, now with, the, but it doesn't apply with regard to uh, to white Europeans. That doesn't make any sense at all. Jay, you can't start a sentence with no offense and then say this is stupid. Okay, then take offense. It's stupid, <laughs> and I don't want to talk about it anymore. You want to talk about something else? No, thank you. Good talking to you. You too. Jay Billis of <laughs> but, but, but we said good talking to you, you too. You know, we were like the cop. We were like the cop that just uh, let somebody out of handcuffs and says, have a nice day. It says, it, they said it's titled on in the computer, Jay Billis hangs up on the show. Was I it, didn't hang up. <laughs> no, but that's how it, no, I don't think you hung up, but it sounded like a landline Well, Dick Vitale out. hung up on you one time. That, he actually hung right. up. It's, 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 a, it's a long list of And he has great respect people. and admiration for you. Dan. <laughs> Jay, it was good seeing you. Thank Great you, seeing sir. you. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> I'm red faced with shame. <laughs>